Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the definition of arbitration? Picture two parties locked in a dispute, a tug of war over issues they just can't agree on. They could go to court, but that's like bringing a sledgehammer to crack a nut time consuming and expensive. So what's the alternative? Enter arbitration, the savvy middle ground solution. It's a way to settle disputes outside of the courtroom's hustle and bustle. Imagine a private judge, an arbitrator, who steps in with a cape of neutrality. This person is chosen by the parties or appointed if they can't decide. The arbitrator's mission? To listen carefully to both sides, weigh the evidence, and make a decision that's binding, just like a court's decision would be. Arbitration is like a court case's more relaxed cousin. It's less formal, often quicker, and can be cheaper too. Plus, it's confidential. No public records or prying eyes here. It's often used in commercial disputes, employment disagreements, and consumer issues. The process typically involves a hearing where both sides present their case. There's room for witnesses and exhibits, just like in court, but with a more laid-back vibe. Once the arbitrator has heard everything, they retreat to their lair of justice to ponder and produce an award. That's the final decision. It's important to note that once you enter the realm of arbitration, you're typically bound to its outcome. There's no swiping left or right here. You're in it for the long haul, with limited grounds for appeal. Arbitration can be a real ace up the sleeve when you want to resolve issues without getting lost in the legal labyrinth. It's a path many choose for its efficiency and effectiveness. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.